Hey everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma. In this video, I want to talk about data science. The last video was about a free DSA course that you can take by Google and someone commented asking about data science. So here we are, today I'll be talking about a complete data science path that you can follow to become a great data scientist. The best part about this path that I'm about to tell you is that first of all, you can do it on your own time. There are no bounds that you will have to attend this class in this time or something like that. Number two, it is going to be completely free. So you are not spending anything and you are learning from the best professors from the best universities around the world. So these are the three important points to keep in mind when I'll be talking about this. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. And now let's get into this video. So as you can see, this is the data science github repository by ossu that is open source society university they have created a list of all the courses that you should be taking one after the other so that you can become a great data scientist and again this is completely for free as you can see path to a free self taught education in data science now what all do you have over here first of all let's just take a look at the prerequisites so as you can see before getting into this curriculum you must have information about high school maths and statistics so once you have that only then we can move forward if you don't know about basic high school mathematics then please take a look at this by just clicking on this link and you will go to some free courses that you can take by khan academy or other things right so once you know these things then we can move forward pre-algebra high school math one two three then we move on now let's take a look at what is the curriculum of this complete course of this complete path that you should be taking so first of all you should be looking at an introduction to data science this is the course what is data science available on coursera that you can take for free how is this for free so you click on this big button that says enroll for free then you click on this next button and then you wait and you will find this little link that says audit this course right so when you click on audit you can get all the videos of this course for free and you don't have to pay you will not get the certificate but certificate isn't really necessary if you have the projects available for you so you can click on this audit course and you can start learning right so if i just click on audit right now i should be able to start learning let me just click on skip and there you go right so this is the course available from ibm right so i can just start from the videos and that's how easy it is for me to start with this course right here so this is the first course what is data science that you should be taking from this complete path once you've learned from this course then you move next to the next part in which they're talking about intro to comsci in which they have three courses first of all python for everybody this is a course by uh, pi 4 e as you can see this is from the university of michigan um, i think and you can just start looking at this and you can learn on the go right so you can just click here and you will be on the Coursera page of this course. Yeah, as you can see, University of Michigan. And you can start enrolling in this course. So that's basically what you can do over here. Once you've taken this, then you will go to the next one. This is a course from MIT, I think. Yeah, this is a course from MIT and you can take this. And after that, then you can take this course, which is about computational thinking and data science. And after that, again, this is a course on edX by MIT again. But once you take these, then we can move forward to the next one in which we're learning about data structures and algorithms. First of all, you learn about Java programming. So there is a website that they have from which you can learn about Java. Then you can learn about algorithms part one and part two. This is a famous course series that is on Coursera about uh, algorithms that is from Princeton University. And moving on, once you have learned about these two things, you know, basics of programming, and then you've learned about DSA. Then we move on to learn about databases and what are databases and how can you use databases right here, right? So you learn about database management essentials, you learn about database warehousing, relational databases, then you learn about business intelligence concepts, then we go to design and build a data warehouse for business intelligence implementation. And at the end, we learn about NoSQL and MongoDB for developers learning path. So you can click on this and you can start exploring. Again, these are free resources that you can use so you start with the first one and you complete this segment of this path then we go on to the next one in which we're talking about single variable calculus and linear algebra and multivariable calculus just some courses that you can take i think yeah these are on mit so these are mit courses then you go on to statistics and probability so you look at this this is going to be from harvard as you can see right here it's a course 
from Harvard on, on probability. And then we go on to learning about a bit of statistics. Then we go on to data science tools and methods. This is the main part of data science degree that you'll be doing or the data science path that you'll be taking on over here, right? So again, this is going to be from Coursera. You can again click on enroll for this course on next and you can audit this course as, as I'm showing you over here. Then of course we can move down and we can get into machine learning and data mining. So that's sort of how the complete path is structured. Again, this will be some course from Coursera. Yeah, as you can see, learn machine learning by Andrew Ng, the most cliched and the most famous course um, that you can take to learn about machine learning. Uh, there are some great resources that you can use to learn about data science. So once you complete the data science courses and you've built a decent portfolio, the next step is for you to find opportunities. And that's where you can take a look at ReLevel. ReLevel has recently launched two new tests in the domains of business and data analyst roles. They have some amazing companies like Cred, Grow, Upgrad, Razorpay, hiring from ReLevel for packages up to 22 lakhs per annum. In the ReLevel test that is free of cost, you just need to score 150 marks to qualify for the second round and 700 score in the second round lets you get opportunities for job interviews as well as some amazing swags from ReLevel. They guarantee a minimum package of 4 lakhs per annum for non-tech roles and 6 lakhs per annum for tech roles. There is no age or experience limit for eligibility. You can attempt the ReLevel test and get a 50% hike on your next job and get a chance to work in the best product-based companies out there. You can check out the link in the description to learn more about ReLevel tests and now let's get back to the video. Now let's take a look at how can you do these courses properly. First of all, we look at the Intro to Data Science course, the what is a data science course that you need to take right here this one and once you've taken that then you can start taking these courses parallelly right so if you are learning about single variable calculus then you can also take this intro to comsci course and that's how you can move ahead but once you've taken these then you can move forward and look at data science tools and methods right don't take this before and uh, take these courses afterwards because then you won't be able to understand what they are teaching in this course right here tools and methods well let's take a look at how do you track your progress so you can just click on this this button and that will get you to this trello board you can just copy this board and then you can keep track of whatever it is that you are learning so for example we have this what is data science card right here you can put this into doing part so that is how you will be able to keep track of what is it that you are learning and how much time did it take you to learn that also what programming language should you use so they are talking about python and r over here these are the more common languages in data science community as you can see so that's what you need to do this is the whole path that i have just laid out in front of you do take a look at this github repository the link for this is going to be in the description and tell me what do you think about this what are some other great resources that people can use to learn about data science get into this field and start learning focus on this thing particularly don't get distracted once you decide that you want to go into this field and that is going to be really important now let's try to understand how much time will it take you to complete this whole path for that you can take a look at this duration section and you will find a spreadsheet over there which you will open and you can enter when are you starting this course or this learning path and how much time will you commit every single week and then you can see what is the lower bound and upper bound of time that it will take you to complete all the courses inside of this path and you can also look at these one by one and you can understand how long are these courses and how much time will it take you to complete all of them well that is all i have for you today i hope this video was insightful let me know in the comment section if you're still watching just say i watched till the very end um also they have a computer science path as well that you can pursue to become a proper software engineer so you can look at that as well i made a separate video on that link would be in the description you can check that out i also have some interviews with data scientists who are working at top tech companies so you can look at that as well again links will be in the description do take a look at that if you're interested to enter into this field of data science that's it i will see you in the next video do take a look at relevel if you're interested and that's it you can follow me on instagram as well as twitter and i'll see you in the next video